Hey guys, I wanted to take a look at some MetaZoo cards. Now to give you a little bit of background about PSA, it costs $15 to grade via PSA bulk. And bulk is typically a very slow process. So if you see a lot of MetaZoo cards under $15, it means that it actually costs more to grade them than the seller got back, which is a really really bad sign for a game here we have some interesting meta zoo cards i'm not going to pretend to be a meta zoo expert but if you guys love meta zoo now's the time to buy a lot of what i've been told um, is a lot of cards that have never seen the light of day these cards that have been hoarded if you will are now being put up on probstein which is ebay and eBay. eBay seems to be a really hot place to buy. Uh, you can see these graded Ghost Train, Kickstarter. You got a 99 cent card of some mummified alien hollow. Uh, you got more mummified aliens. These are uh, auction cards. I do not trust buy it now. I, I just do not think there's too much uh, manipulation. Uh, on buy it now, but MetaZoo, I mean, if you guys love MetaZoo, why aren't you guys buying it? Because the cards are available and they seem really cheap. I mean, a PSA 10 frog, I mean, for $4, I know it costs $15 a grade, said frog. It seems like a great deal. Like, I've actually looked into other categories of this type of bulk slab and it's, it's so cheap. Why would not? These are all slabs, by the way. A dollar for two dollars. I think Probe might do combined shipping. Um, I don't really know what to say except this stuff is just really, really affordable, right? Um, why would you not buy it? You know, I guess that's my question. Is if it's something that you want, you should go ahead and grab it. Um, it, it seems very cheap. It seems very affordable. Uh, and, and much more. I mean, these prices are under $15. Like I said, it costs $15 a grade a card. Essentially, you're getting the card for free. You're just paying for I mean, it's kind of weird to think about it that, that way, but it's a great time to be a MetaZoo fan. You know, it's a, it's a fantastic time. I mean, if you are truly a MetaZoo fan, then what is the, um, why, why do you care? Right? Why do you care about, um, if anything, you should be super happy that these cards are fairly cheap. Because cheap cards means you can open more of them. And, and that's how I feel about my card game, my dead card games that I play. I play a lot of Fire Emblem Cypher. I love picking up, I actually picked up a few cheap decks today uh, from eBay. And... No, it, it's kind of uh, it, it, it's kind of fascinating, really, uh, to see the eBay markets. And I'm going to try to pick up uh, Figma, Lucina, and Corrin a little later today. Some Spy X family. Like, when cards are cheap, that's when you buy. I mean, are you guys idiots? Like, this is the best time to buy MetaZoo ever. Ever, 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 right? I mean, I wish these cards were, like... There's something that I'm going to tell you. I got into Fire Emblem Cypher two years, three years after it died. And to piece together my dream collection was cost me $25,000, $30,000. Some of the cards, especially the bikini summer cards, were really just so difficult. I don't even have a whole... I have a very, very good collection. And I'm very proud of my collection. But... Man, the cards were super cheap. We're talking about like a card that would cost me $500, $600 a day was less than $20, $25 when the game died. So when a game dies, a lot of people want to get out of the game. And then throughout the years, it becomes more and more difficult to acquire because these pieces are now being held by people who actually enjoy the game. Uh, same thing with Weiss. I had the opportunity to buy a beautiful Weiss collection for ten thousand dollars. I was talking to my girlfriend's nephew about that. We had a really fun time with him the weekend. 
took him out to eat, uh, lunch and dinner. I uh, went to the mall, got him some Weiss playmats, which he really enjoys. He's big into Weiss. And there was a time point where I was making a decision. Should I spend, at that time it was 10000 but I eventually would have dumped 25000 into it. And Weiss or Fire Emblem Cypher, I'm glad I did Fire Emblem Cypher because uh, even though Weiss is much more expensive now, it is easier to get. So for Meta Zoo, your collection for like right now is I missed that opportunity with Fire Emblem Cipher. I also missed that opportunity with Inuyasha TCG, and now many years later, Inuyasha is a dead card game for twenty years. Hardly anything goes to auction, and when it goes to auction, I already own it. So, and a lot of pieces I want, like the Rumika one on one auto, it, it just never has come. It just who knows where it is? So, so my point is actually kind of simple. You know, if you want to be a Meadow Zoo, and I might collect Meadow Zoo just for the hell of it. Why not, right? Why not? Um, in my opinion, why not? I might collect Meadow Zoo just for the hell of it, right? And um, it's interesting. It's interesting to me, and I am definitely a, you know, I'm definitely intrigued by having a good Meadow Zoo collection for very, very little money, right? That's intriguing today. These cards are hitting the market, and they're not, not expensive. You might never see them again. Uh, if you will, and who knows, um, just like with, uh, just like with uh, Fire Emblem Cipher, there are stuff I really, I really, really wish that I had, but they just doesn't hit the market very much, and I'm talking about like really being greedy, I have play sets of Elder Guard, this stuff, like, I look at the old Facebook post. People were selling, like, playsets of Corrine and Aldegar for, like, $100 a playset. Now I can't get the same Corrine for $400, $500. There, if, I don't know. MetaZoo will be the same thing. I cannot tell you if it's going to be the same. But I can tell you if I Emblem Cypher, it is hella hard to get to build a collection today. And I'm glad I built my collection during COVID because it's even harder today to pick up any relevant pieces um you, you're just basically at the mercy of the ebay right or facebook marketplace anyway hi guys